How's Yo, it? what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here, still in Kigali. And you know what? Today I'm very excited just because I'm going to the south for the first time ever. Most of you are telling me that I don't want to do any video about the south and the north. Like I said, I'm doing this project by myself together with my crew. Hey, you guys should say hi. Hello. Oh, what's your name? My name is Elvis Derry from uh, Kenya representing 254. You said what's your name, not... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're all from Africa. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you. You're an African born in... Yeah, I'm an African born, born in Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it is. We are heading to Zambia. It's going to be our first country in the south. From Zambia, we're going to head to Botswana. So, yeah, there's a last day in Kigali. I'm going to miss this country. You know, this is my favorite country in Africa. I hope no one takes the spot. So boy, Mr. Gano, baby, and yeah, I'm like Miss Trudy today. Let's go. So it's like. 8.30 in the morning right now and the flight leaves around 10. I don't want to miss my flight. When I'm with Trudy, I always miss my flight, but when I'm alone, I'm always on time, yeah? So I'm just going to the airport right now because I always don't like flying at night because in the morning, you get to see whatever is going on in the plane, outside the plane. And also when you get down, like around 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you'll be able to do whatever you want to do because I always go to a country without doing research. So when I get to the country, the first thing to do, get my SIM card. You know what, you get a SIM card, I always book an Airbnb, so I need to go to the location directly, get a taxi. Yeah, you know, you always have to pay extra whenever you get a taxi because when I'm entering a new country, no one picks me up. So that's how it is. Um, yeah, today I'm going to talk a lot so I get to Zambia. So it's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Stay tuned and come fly with me. I am my I live around Kemeronko, which is just five minutes away from the airport. And this guy got to know that I speak English. He said 10,000. My brother, I was like, no way. He said he's going to um, enter the airport. I was like, no, don't enter the airport. Park somewhere. So, yeah, he said he's going to use the meter roll. So, let's see. Me, I don't like spending too much, man, because I don't have enough money. He just want to cheat me. But, you know, I'm also from Africa. You know, cheating is actually normal. <laughs> How do I feel like this is doubled? And then he's telling me it's 5,000. Just five minutes away from the airport. This is ridiculous, you know, but... You know, sometimes I don't want to complain, but this is totally ridiculous. Five minutes away from the airport. I think he was, you know, adding his own figures and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Anyway, five dollars. It's all right. Let's get to the airport. Right here is the Kigali International Airport. But first thing first, I need to go find my drone. You know what, when I came here the first day, my drone was seized because drones are not allowed to fly in Kigali. So um, before I go check in, let me go pick up my drone and um, yeah, let me, I'll show you when I'm getting my drone, yeah? So whenever you come to Kigali, if you have a drone, make sure you register first. The registration takes like three months, man. It's really not easy, but uh, yeah, I just came to promote the country without drone, but I think the videos did well. Yeah, so I'll see you when I get there. Huh? Okay. A few moments later. So this is the place that I'm coming for my drone. I got my receipt that um, yeah, this is a receipt that I had when they seized my drone. But I came here and uh, yeah, the police officer watched my videos. That's another amazing feeling that I love about Rwanda, man. Happy you. Ah, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so it's like this place. Anytime I come back here, it just always feel like home. Like everyone, hi, what am I? Hi, what am I? It's super crazy, yeah. But uh, yeah, Rwandis, you have to know that I love you so much and I love your country. And I will definitely come back again. But next time when I'm coming back, I definitely register this drone, man. Because you know I need to give drone footages of this beautiful country. 
a few moments later so i finally got my drone and i'm heading to lusaka you know it's a beautiful experience when um, you go there and all the police officers everyone is like i watch your videos you're the guy who ate in the gutter man what else should i call home apart from rwanda man but hey it's all good i got my drone and um yeah expect drone footages from lusaka i hope they don't seize my drone too in lusaka <laughs> this is how it is but like i said whenever you are coming to this country make sure you register your drone if you really want to fly drones in here <laughs> the law really works in this country no bribery no corruption this is how it is man <laughs> yeah my <laughs> one eternity later sorry guys i have no footage to support what really happened to me that very moment at the airport because security is really tight in rwanda so i decided not to film but what really happened to me was one of my worst traveling experience ever so i was supposed to fly from kigali to lusaka this guy refused to check me in. Why? Because I don't have a return ticket. I explained to him, I even showed him a bus ticket. A bus ticket from where? Lusaka to Botswana. Yet, he just want to see a flight ticket. Of which a bus ticket also work. This guy intentionally made me miss my flight. And I was so, so mad. And when I went there to change the flight, they said I have to pay $200 to change my flight. And everything changed. I was super mad, came back to the airport, you know, if I had a chance to fight, like I will surely fight that day, but this really happened. So, you know what, I was so mad because I missed my flight, the guy told me that I don't have return ticket, but like I always say, everything happens for a reason. I've been looking for these people for so long in this country, and finally they are here. Finally. Oh, I was supposed to meet them, but anyway, who are you? Uh, they don't know you. Aka, oh, we we work for Akaja Aviation. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Akaja Aviation. Akaja Aviation. So it's like, yes. w w what is the function of Akaja Aviation? Sorry. What's the function? What do you do? Oh, we we do uh, helicopter services. We do uh, meet and greet. We uh, do uh, aerial photography. We do a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We even have uh, an academy, pilot academy. Pilot academy. Yeah. So I wanted to um you know do a luxury trip from um what do you call it um. Uh, what's his name? Kigali to Gisenye? Yes. And I wrote you guys an email. I even yes. went to your office to find you guys, yes. you know, not knowing that yes. I'm going to meet you guys here. You know, like, everything happens. That's why I missed my flight. You know, yeah. I, I, met, I met the main boss, even though she doesn't want to show on camera. All right. All right, you good? It's all. I'm one <laughs> ready. So, she's the one that I went to find, and she never allowed me to see her. You're so busy that time. Listen. Too bad, but we have the, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So I'm happy to have met you. Um, you are the biggest, biggest star we have actually yeah, in Africa. Yes. And um, oh my so God, while you're very you. happy to meet me, I'm equally happy <laughs> to meet you. you. <laughs> <laughs> because I, they told me that you had um, is it KBC? I went there, waited for you. Tio sent you emails. I'm like, okay, you know, I can girl people are always busy. But anyway, I, I'm so happy to see you. Same and um, yeah. We'll definitely work together. Yeah, let's honestly, let's hope we come back to Rwanda. Rwanda has a lot of things to offer. Mm. And especially when it comes to luxury tourism, we represent that with the Kagera Aviation and so many other amazing things happening in the country. So listen, I don't want to take much of the time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to steal your show. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> After waiting for 12 hours at Kigali International Airport, we finally am back and uh, guess what? I miss this beautiful uh, hostess who is also a fan and she doubled my food. I am my Oh my goodness, Lusaka at night is just breathtaking. We finally touched down and welcome to Zambia. Yo, so we finally arrived in Zambia. I got my visa, $50, man. Yo. Traveling in Africa costs a lot of money, but hey, we are here and uh, we are expert videos from this country. I don't know what to expect, but it's my first time in a Southern African country and uh, kind of super excited. Let's see what 
Zambia has to offer within a week. I am Maya. Stay tuned and enjoy more amazing episode from your boy, Mr. Ghana Baby and, uh, and Elvis Deri, the editor and the cinematographer. Stay tuned for videos. Man. I am Maya. Peace out. <laughs>